Marlene Zuck, world-class biologist at the University of California, Riverside, and author of several popular science books, has published a new book that is already making a buzz. Written with a general audience in mind, Sex on Six Legs, Lessons on Life, Love, and Language from the Insect World, tackles topics that most people would not readily associate with creepy crawlies. It's, in a lot of ways, about all of the wonderful things about insects that keep scientists coming back to study them. Lots of people are interested in insects because they have weird uh, natural history or they're beautiful or they have strange body forms, but this is really about the interesting things about their lives that make us understand more about what it takes to do complicated things or maybe sometimes it doesn't take much to do complicated things. Insects do a lot of really extraordinary activities. They build things, they communicate with each other, uh, they um, can find things from a long distance away, and they do all these things that seem very human with equipment, tiny, tiny brains, and small bodies that is incredibly different than what humans have. So I know that a lot of people say they don't like bugs, but I'm hoping to change their minds because it seems to me that insects are the perfect way to understand a lot of things about the world that we thought was kind of boring and ordinary. And I, the title of the book is Sex on Six Legs because I spend a lot of time on sex. Insects have really wild sex lives, much more so than a lot of people think. And even the aftermath of those sex lives is pretty interesting. Um, the, their, the way they take care of their offspring. People don't ever think of insects as being good parents, but a lot of them are great parents. They feed their babies, they take care of them, they protect them from predators. And yet again, we keep coming back to this, well, how is it that they manage to do it without having big complicated brains or going to school or reasoning the way humans do? For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, this is Angel Ortiz.